Congratulations on setting up ManyChat. In this video, we are going to focus on driving traffic to the ManyChat so that people can engage with your chatbot. There are basically two ways we can do that. The first one, which is what we are going to concentrate in this video, is to embed a widget on your website. The second method for driving traffic to your chatbot is through Facebook advertising, and that'll be in the next video. So what we need to do now is to go to Growth Tools. We already have several of them already set up here, but let's go to the new Growth Tool so I can show you the various options available. So the very first one is a bar, which is one that we are using currently on Advisorist website. And basically that is a bar that sits at the top of the web page. We have one that slides in from the side, one that comes right into the center, and one that takes over the page, it slides down like a gateway. And then we have embeddable, such as the button here or a box, which can be embedded in posts and pages. So I'd like to go back to widgets here and look at one that we've already installed. And this one is the advisor's top bar. First thing you need to do is change the default message that's up there. And this is the message that we put in there. You want to make sure that it's active. You can change a number of the elements for the widget. You can change the background color of the button, the text of the button, and there are predefined text that you can use for that button. When to display it. In this case, we're displaying it immediately when people visit the website or the web page, and the frequency that people will see the widget. And if people close it manually, will they be able to see it again? Next. Now we've selected a message here and I've actually created a new message for that. You want to alert people that they can go to Messenger to start the conversation with you. The opt-in actions refers to if you set up a series of sequences on your chatbot, much like an autoresponder series of emails. In this case, we don't have any set up. Click on Next. Now, this is very important at this point. We need to install what's called a JavaScript snippet. So you click on Install JavaScript and give them your website where it's going to be installed. Click on Next. You need to copy this code. So we copy it here. And then you need to go to your website to install that in the head section of the website. Now, if you're not familiar in terms of how to do that in your WordPress site, or if it's not a WordPress site, or another type of website, then maybe you want to contact your programmer and give them this snippet and let them install that. Otherwise, we have people at Advisorist that can install it for you. So you go to your website. Now you want to go to the page where you want to install this widget. And this is the page that I want to install it in. Next, I'm going to go down. This is a WordPress site, so I want to go down and add the code right here. And then I update it. And there it is. And that's it for installing the widget on your website.